Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about the brewing of the Dead Ringer. Um, it is done. This is it. Uh, we will not go over a review of how it tastes or anything. We'll wait until Steve gets to try it. Then we'll do the official one week um, review of it to see how it is. Um, if you have not watched the overview of the three Northern Brew beers, uh, I'll link it above me. You can go watch that or you can uh, watch the overview of just this one to see uh, what we were thinking of doing. Um, right off the bat, I cap everything exactly like New Northern Brewer has it. Um, I didn't add anything. The only thing I did to the uh, recipe was at 60 minutes, they wanted 0.75 ounces of Centennial and I just went with the one ounce. So there's one ounce of Centennial at 60 minutes, one ounce of Centennial at 20 minutes, two ounces at five minutes, then dry hopped with one ounce. Um, I did make a starter for this. I used the White Labs 001 yeast. Um, made that starter about 24 hours, maybe 36 hours uh, before I brewed with it. Um, crushed the grains on um, brew day, uh, got my water up, uh, then um, I do brew in the bag, so put that in there. Also, I forgot um, in the starter, I did use uh, the fast pitch. Um, this was free with the, uh, the actual stir plate, so if I have it, might as well use it. So I used one can of that with uh, 16 ounces of water. Um, when it came time to mash in, uh, I usually take mine up to about 165 before I mash in. Um, this one, um, the target is 152. Um, to my notes, I hit 151. <clears throat> so, pretty close. Let it go for an hour. After the hour's up, um, pulled the bag out and, and squeezed the crap out of it. Always do it. Um, put it back down in there for the mash out, 170 for, I think, 10 minutes. Yep, 10 minutes. Um, then we continued, and like I said, Centennial all the way through. Um, one ounce of Centennial at 60 minutes, one ounce of Centennial at uh, 20 minutes, and two ounces at five minutes. Um, then after that, um, what I do, I do something a little bit different. I leave all the hop residue and everything in there, and when I uh, draw it out or siphon it out of the actual um, pot, um, I put I put it in a bag. Um, you get these little bags uh, when you get the uh, brew in the bag, the big one. So I use one of those to get all the um, hop gunk out. Um, and I'll show a picture, and through all this, obviously, you guys have been seeing pictures and videos. Um, this one did it too. Um, after I aerated it, got some air in there, I pitched the yeast, uh, it started going like crazy. And uh, the part that I said uh, that it did it again, and I'll show a picture of, is it separated into like four different layers. Uh, this is the second beer I've had do it. I've never had it do it before. So let me know if you guys have had this. Um, it's like uh, so, some of the um, uh, grains or whatever gets through uh, the, the bag uh, into the carboy will slide all on the bottom. Then you'll get a layer of liquid. Then I think the... the third layer is actually protein uh, then you'll get another layer of liquid on top of that uh, but the fermentation was very active and I'll show a picture of that you know everything's moving around in there um, I didn't say uh, my post boil gravity or my original gravity was 18.75 uh, bricks um, and we'll, we'll go into more detail on this uh, once we do the review. But when I moved it to secondary, I took a reading. And that was only showing 17 bricks. 
which I didn't think was even close to being right. So then I went and looked at my ref my refractometer, and like I said, we'll get into that uh, when we do the full review. Um, but in the end, so I uh, I brewed this on 221, and it went into the keg on 313. Um, so right now, um, or I should say now the beer is a 6.53% ABV. So pretty, I guess, good in a good range. Um, but that's about it. Uh, we will go over more because I think something happened to my refractometer because there's no way that it only dropped, uh, 1.75 bricks, but stay tuned. We will get the review done on this soon and get that out. Also, um, this beer I did uh, a yeast wash on, so you'll see that video soon too. So stay tuned. Until next time, happy brewing.